Hello, my name is Matu Chipi Horse and I am a sociology major at Emory College. I am also an enrolled member of the Comanche Nation while also being Kiowa, Cree, and Lakota Sioux. Today I am in the exhibition Each Other, Marie Watt and Chinupa Hanska Luger at the Michael C. Carlos Museum next to this amazing artwork titled Butterfly, created by Marie Watt, a contemporary indigenous artist who is Seneca and German Scots. I am going to be reading a book called Jingle Dancer, written by Cynthia Lydic Smith and illustrated by Cornelius Van Wright and Ying Wahu, published by Heart Drum, an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. Jingle Dancer by Cynthia Lydic Smith. Tink, 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 sang cone shaped jingles sewn to Grandma Wolf's dress. Every Grandma bounce step brought clattering tinks as light blurred silver against jingles of tin. Jenny daydreamed at the kitchen table, tasting honey on fry bread, her heart beating to the brum, brum, brum of the powwow drum. As moon kissed sun goodnight, Jenna shifted her head on Grandma Wolf's shoulder. I want a jingle dance too. Next powwow, you could dance girls, Grandma Wolf answered, but we don't have enough time to mail order tens for rolling jingles. Again and again, Jenna watched a video of Grandma Wolf jingle dancing. When Grandma bounced stepped on TV, Jenna bounced stepped on family room carpet. But Jenna's dress would not be able to sing. It needed four rows of jingles. As sun fetched morning, Jenna danced east to Great Aunt Sis's porch. Jenna's bounce steps crunched autumn leaves but her steps didn't jingle. Once again, Great Aunt Sis told Jenna a Muscogee Creek story about Bat. Although other animals had said he was too small to make a difference, Bat won a ball game by flying high and catching a ball in his teeth. Rising sunlight reached through a window pane and flashed against, what was it hanging in Aunt Sis's bedroom? Jingles on a dress too long quiet. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row, Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Aunt Sis's dress would lose its voice. You may, Aunt Sis answered, rubbing her calves. My legs don't work so good anymore. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna with a kiss on Aunt Sis's cheek. Now Jenna's dress needed three more rows. As sun arrived at mid-circle, Jenna skipped south to Miss Scott's brand new duplex. At Jenna's side, jingles clinked. Miss Scott led Jenna into the kitchen. Once again, Jenna rolled dough and Miss Scott fried it. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row, Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Miss Scott's dress would lose its voice. You may, Miss Scott answered, tossing flour with her apron. At powwow, I'll be busy selling fry bread and Indian tacos. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna with a high five. Now Jenna's dress needed two more rows. As sun caught a glimpse of moon, Jenna strolled west to cousin Elizabeth's apartment. At Jenna's side, jingles clanked. Elizabeth had arrived home late from the law firm. Once again, Jenna helped Elizabeth carry in her files. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row, Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Elizabeth's dress would lose its voice. You may, Elizabeth answered, burrowing through her messy closet for her jingle dress. This weekend, I'm working on a big case and can't go to powwow. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna, clasping her cousin's hands. Now, Jenna's dance needed one more row of jingles, but she didn't know which way to turn. As moon glowed pale, Jenna shuffled north to Grandma Wolf's. At Jenna's side, Jingles sat silent. High above, clouds wavered like worried ghosts. When Jenna tugged open the door, Jingles sang, tink, 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 tink. Grandma Wolf was jingle dancing on TV. Jenna breathed in every hey -a -o of a powwow song. Her heart beat, brum, brum, brum to the pounding of the drum on a family room carpet 
Beaded moccasins waited for Jenna's feet. She shucked off a sneaker and slipped on a moccasin that long before had danced with Grandma Wolf. Jenna knew where to find her fourth row. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row, Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Grandma Wolf's dress would lose its voice. You may, Grandma said with a hug. Now Jenna's dress could sing. Every night that week, Jenna helped Grandma Wolf sew on jingles and bring together the dance regalia. Every night, Jenna practiced her bounce steps. Brum, 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 brum sounded the drum at the powwow the next weekend. As light blurred silver, Jenna's jingles danced. For great aunt sis, whose legs ached. For Miss Scott, who sold fry bread. For Elizabeth, who worked on her big case. And for Grandma Wolf, who warmed like sun. Tink, tink, tink. Tink.